Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 3. We are in the 20th episode of the series and we have Somali here with us who has been recently placed at BlackRock as a part of her campus placements at VIT. She is here to share her interview experience with us. But before we talk to her, let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all students of all branches were eligible provided they had a 60% CGPA or a 6.5 in their 10th, 12th and also in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Somali and understand her experience interviewing with this company. Channel and congratulations on your placement. So Thank you. Would you like to introduce yourself first? Yes, sure. Uh, my name is Shomili Dutta. I am from West Bengal, from a town called uh, Shalbani. I am currently 21 years old. Um, I have done my 10th, 11th, 12th in West Bengal only in the DAB public school. Okay. And after that, I came to VID Chennai to do my BTEC in Electronics and Communication Engineering. Right now, I'm currently in my fourth year. And um, apart from academics, I would say that I love to draw portraits. Okay. Uh, I have drawn a lot of them actually. Okay. I'm interested in table tennis, uh, badminton. I'm also very interested in dancing. So yeah. Okay, that's that's great. Uh, you cannot tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Yeah, so uh, I think the first mail that we got uh, regarding BlackRock, it came at the last week of August regarding okay. the mail okay. uh, that people can uh, uh, take interest in that. So we had filled up the form and everything and we had our pre-placement form. So I think around uh, more than 4,000 students actually applied for that company. And then we had pre-placement talk. So before that, there was no shortlisting and anything. After pre-placement talk, they had uh, given another list, the shortlisted candidates who were eligible for giving the online examination. So I think uh, they shortlisted around 1,000 people from that 4,000 people. Hmm. And we were all able to give the online exam. Okay. Uh, the online exam was conducted on eLitmus platform. It had, I guess, MCQs on uh, DBMS, OOPS, freeze, aptitude, everything. Uh, they were all medium to hard level questions. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, yeah, uh, after that, uh, I think uh, the examinations were on 1st September. Mm -hmm. So we gave the exams and we had no clue when the next round of selection would come or we had no idea like they never told. Hmm. So uh, it was like that and I think uh, the next round of selection came that we had uh, our interviews on 5th of September. Okay. Uh, they shortlisted, uh, we had actually three roles. From all the three roles, we uh, all were shortlisted for interviews. Around 296 people were shortlisted for interviews. We had it on our 5th September. So I think I remember my interview time was around 12.30 like that. Okay. But I don't know, uh, for some reason, it was very late. My interview was okay. conducted around 6 p.m. like that. Okay. So my interview went for an hour, more than an hour, I guess. We had three people in, our, in my panel. So they asked me questions related. First, they asked me about my projects. The main thing about the resumes, they asked me about projects. They asked me how I did it, real-time applications and everything. Then they went to OOPS, they asked me which language I'm comfortable with and started asking me OOPS in that language. Mm -hmm. um, I think they asked me literally almost everything in static final keyword and all. Uh, after that, they said that they will shift to data structures. Uh, they asked me about trees, uh, graphs, heaps and uh, hash set, everything. Then they said that they would shift to DBMS, but I think uh, the OOPs and uh, data structures took so much of time that it, it took more than an hour. Right. So they did not uh, go for DBMS. They ended my interview asking if I had any query or not, and that was my interview. Okay. It it was it ended around seven ten or like that. Hmm. So I had no clue when uh, the next call would be there or next uh, shortlisting will be there. So I, I I had no clue. So I like closed my mail and everything, but then after like 10 minutes, I got a notification that I got my HR call. And within that day, I guess at 9.30, the results came out and uh, it, the name was there. So okay. I think around uh, 50 people were shortlisted, uh, sorry, I mean got Finally. the offer okay. from hmm. Yatra, okay. from all the three um, roles. I was selected for the software development role. 
Okay, that's really great. Congratulations again. So totally there were Thank you. totally there were three rounds, right, or two rounds? Many people actually had even two rounds of interview. Okay. I only had one round of interview. Oh, only one round of interview. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That's that's. Many people had two rounds as well. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> That's yeah. great. Thank you so much for sharing your experience and congratulations again. Um, do you have any suggestions or anything that you learned from your journey you would share to people who have not been placed yet? Uh, I think this entire placement season, I mean, from my experience, from all the people that are in there, I think it's very stressful. Like I understand people are giving interviews, exams every day. Uh, like even two three exams per day and getting rejected. Some people are even going to the HR round and still getting right. rejected. It's very frustrating. So all I would say that uh, never lose faith in yourself. Believe in yourself because you know that you can do it and you know that you deserve it. Right. So I would just say that never give up on yourself because it's very important. I know it's it's like heartbreaking see your seeing your friends around you. I mean you love them obviously, but them getting placed before you obviously it hurts. Yeah. So I know it creates a mental disparity, but that's the thing you have to keep pushing yourself. Right. Uh, obviously skills are important. If your skills match the job description, I think it would be the best thing. Hmm. Uh, so keep polishing your skills, whatever DSA, DBMS, or even the core subjects, whichever area you are interested in, just uh, keep practicing. Also, uh, one very important thing is your resume. I think it's very important uh, in every company. Like you keep it up to the point and you know every detail that you have mentioned in it because mm. obviously your resume is a very critical point. If they ask you something and you can't answer what you have written in the resume, I think it's a very setback. Right. So every details you should know from the projects to skills, you should know it thoroughly. Mm. Yeah, so I believe that every day can't be your day, but then when you have your day, just you know, make sure that you seize the moment and grab the day because it won't come again. Right. So yeah, keep faith, keep believing yourself. I feel everyone can. Okay, okay, that's great. Thank you so much, and thank you for your enthusiasm. You. I'm I'm sure it's gonna help many people. Yeah, thank you. All right. Hi guys, this is Jishnu. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. And thank you all for watching once again. A lot of interview experiences coming your way in the next few days.